be analyzing CTIR Limited, which the SS code is CTT. Let's have a look. Just want to remind you, this isn't financial advice, it's just from BG Trading, sharing with you how we apply our strategies to know when to buy and when to sell stocks, how we set up targets, stop losses, and much more. All in this channel, so if you like, please subscribe and share this video with someone that you believe would be interested on this analysis. Also, would like to take this opportunity to invite you to become a member of our free Facebook community, Buy Growth sell strategy for share traders in this community we share a lot of content our results on stock analysis and much more so make sure you become involved is a great opportunity but you're gonna make sure you answer all those three questions otherwise we're going to reject your request okay so now let's jump straight into this analysis <music> Basically, what we've done here for our VP members, we have put together this analysis, and um, and then obviously also if you're a VP member, you have access to more refined information such, such as entries, uh, capital flow in the stock, uh, risks, uh, targets for BGS twenty and potentially BG trading uh, strategies, stop losses, shareholder trends, and much more. So all. Um, all part of this uh, analysis for VP members, but we like sharing some of this with you, especially when the stocks are um, are offering uh, interesting uh, growth opportunity and are trading into technically fair or technically discounted price, which is the case of Centile Limited at the moment. So if you know, the company basically is an online platform, uh, which is obviously been investing in a lot of tech uh, to become so another uh, interesting component that make this company um, a, a competitive that has uh, that provide this company competitive advantage is uh, the fact that it has sort of a focus a lot it, o, o, its revenue into a recurrent uh, customer so basically uh, more than going buying uh, a, a, a some uh, some fashion product into uh, into its website into the company the brand's website uh, it's a uh, easier and uh, more versatile to go and buy uh, into this website and obviously this company is also investing in 3d modeling cut edge technology for uh, user experience also has uh, been launched its app and uh, and and the app sales has uh, been uh, showing immediate results uh, as you can see into this um into this uh, analysis so basically uh, the stock has been uh, has been recovering really well over the last six months, but it's still trading quite below its 52 weeks uh, price, which it's a very frustrating for whoever has invested in this stock one year ago. Would have been losing 60% of its investment. Now, uh, although the EBITDA is still uh, is still a sort of negative, um, the adjusted EBITDA, which is um, the the overall net uh, net profit or net loss of the company, uh, taking away taking off some of the some of uh, the one off costs, which is not supposed to uh, come back in 2023, the, uh, the company has presented adjusted EBITDA positive, which is really really good, and that has showed through its stock price and in fact the stock price has risen about 300 percent on this stage in the last six months uh, now another thing i wanted to show you is how the revenue has been increasing uh, not exponentially but very consistent and then in q1 of fy23 we might going to have i'm actually we already have 84 million dollars uh, revenue alone which if you combine three uh, another three uh, similar quarters that that represents a potential of 300 million dollars uh, plus uh, revenue in FY23 putting that uh, the new candle right on the top here the, the key points for FY23 is that in FY22 the company has spent quite a lot in marketing and uh, and obviously building its uh, app platform now uh, 
uh, the company has um, has declared that has has going to is going to be shrinking its expenses, and therefore uh, we could even see some break even, or but definitely um, EBITDA improvement for FY twenty three, which is exactly what I wanted to see if I am holding this stock forwards to the next six to twelve months, at least. Uh, at another eight months until we have the full results for FY 2023. But we will see a quarter results um, as we go through the year, and that will give a very, very good indication that whether the company is on track or not. In this first quarter, the company report a positive EBITDA, which is really good. Now, think this way. We have Christmas, you have a Black Friday, all this in this quarter, which hasn't been reported yet. It's very likely that we'll see Q2 FY23 above, above $84 million, which will be improving even further. I think that we'll see uh, another price, another stock rally on the back of that. Now, um, Another key things they wanted to share with you is that um, beauty, uh, beauty category expansion. So basically, the company is not just expanding in the fashion uh, products, but now also in beauty, which is uh, beauty is one of the biggest industries in the world. So uh, hundred billion dollar industry, which obviously uh, Centile wanted to put its foot on that industry. So obviously we're gonna see immediate revenue coming from uh, from this industry, right? As I said, uh, mobile platform uh, FY22 with increased volume in sales uh, already being seen for the first uh, first couple of quarters uh, and then expanding geographically revenue base as well. So all a green ticks, the only risk for this company really is at this stage, which I obviously there's all the risks, but I would say that the biggest risk for this company at the moment would be that uh, some of the brands uh, decide to close its supply uh, for for this um, platform. And if that happens, obviously, uh, on the back of uh, some brands potentially wanting to protect this brand equity or uh, or who knows the reason? And then obviously we might see some uh, depredation of the business itself, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen uh, for the simple reason uh, that those companies are making uh, huge sales out of this platform. But we never know that could happen maybe or not. The key for those uh, top brands to keep using uh, Centile as an uh, integrated platform is that Centile needs to keep its quality, needs to keep only top brands, okay? Not diversifying into a cheaper brands. Keep the high-end brands, and I'm pretty sure all those high-end brands on wanting will keep wanting to be involved into this uh, company. Now, uh, stock price. Let's check what's happening with the stock price, okay? So now we're seeing, if you have, a, as I said before, if you have held the stock for one year, you'll be down 66%, despite some analysts was uh, were very bullish about the stock last year, so you uh, would be doing pretty bad. However, however, if you had uh, bought the stock right here at the bottom, so you would be uh, easily three hundred percent up at more. No, you'd actually be about two hundred percent up at the moment. But that, uh, that's why it's so important to have a strategy. If you have a strategy, you will know that uh, even if you're holding for the long term, as soon as you see a bearish intersection, you would, uh, if you if you even try trade this bearish intersection, you would be looking to sell. That's what BGS20 strategy says, sell at the bearish intersection. And you would have saved a, a fall of 89%. Imagine you have 89% negative on your portfolio in this position, no good. Make sure you have a strategy, man. Now, what happened from this end here, we're seeing uh, the stock breaking out in different levels here. The last breakout was around 130 and then we had 130 uh, breakout. And now the stock is trading at what we call technically fair price uh, in a price that is uh, below or at uh, at 250 moving average and also at 40 moving average. So basically is a technically a fair price, not only for the short term, but also for the long term, which makes any entry at the current price a 
pretty decent entry okay for the long term okay for the long term potentially even for the short term as uh, uh, the the company has enough fundamentals uh, for its stock price to be sustainable uh, at least around two dollars or above so i would say uh, again, uh, always, if you're looking into our strategy, you're always going to be buying the stock under these sort of levels. And that's why we brought this stock uh, today as uh, part of our uh, channel, because uh, it is opportunity there. It's our opportunity. It's not a stock that is trading in the formal area. And any time that you buy, that there is a stock trading in the formal area, we are most likely not going to record a video because that becomes too dangerous for our viewers. So what we want to do is always look into good quality companies like this one. And when they are trading at interesting, technically fair price or even technically discounted price. This is the case of uh, Centire Limited. So obviously you gotta make your own decision. Our VIP members know exactly what we're doing with this stock. And, uh, but it is up to you at the end of the day. This is a finance advice. I just point uh, point the facts here and my thoughts on the company overall uh a very interesting long-term investment and when i talk about long term again remember long term is not about years is about a target when i talk about long term i mean very interesting potentially uh chasing for four dollars target over the long term which means if it, the target reaches four dollars it is a sell it doesn't matter if it takes six months uh, one year or two years it is a sell that's our strategy all right so uh, sometimes you hold the stock for two years and the stock goes all the way to four dollars and all of a sudden go all the way to three dollars and two dollars again so just me selling that that's why uh and then by the end of the two years you are sitting on the same sort of investment but you could have a chance of uh, uh of making uh, a very very good profit so that's why we uh, th that's what strategy uh teaches you to make sure you understand the concept of a long-term investment. It's more to do with, not with only the time, or leading time, but more to do with the target. So you gotta combine target and the long-term, okay? But if the target reaches before, so you gotta sell there. So strategy is a key to success, guys. And uh, obviously, if you wanna learn BGS 20 and BGS trading strategy, make sure you jump into our online course. Um, just hit bgtrading.com.au and we are running a Black Friday special. Uh, if you have any questions, please DM the team via Facebook or via our website chatting box. Guys, thank you very much. This is um, our analysis for Centile Limited. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to DM the team and put your comments at the description below. Thank you very much. See you next video. Bye.